he's in. I think he's in better shape than what he'll probably give you, give him credit for. Um, I mean, it's probably not the shape that he's used to being in, but uh, none of us really are. So <laughs> that's, what, that's why we're in here practicing. Um, but no, he looks good. He looks good. He's uh, you can't really tell that he's taking a year off. How did the last week's, or was it the week before Pro Week, anyway, with the alumni help you guys get ready for this? That was awesome. I think. Uh, Again, kind of like we just talked about, to have people here back in the shot and to, to get to know the college guys a little more. Um, but to get to see like D'Angelo and Kata, guys that you know probably don't come live here in the off season like most of us, um, and, and to come back and, and hang out with them and have ET back and, and Jay Sean and most of us here that are practicing were here. So it was a good time. It was good to uh, kind of get that first win because we played every day for a couple days and uh, a lot of us hadn't done that in a while. So it was good. Any of the young guys on this current Ohio State team, this game stand out to you? Oh Honestly, a lot of them look really good. I think, uh, you know, they've got a good mix of, of young guys and, and veteran guys coming back. Um, obviously, losing Dwayne, um, you know, will change things a little bit. But, uh, you know, we're happy for Dwayne him going through the NBA process. But, uh, you know, they've got a lot of guys, a lot of guys that can, that can play. So it should be some, some fun competitive practices. Obviously, you have a connection to the staff for your brother, but how much do you appreciate it as an alumnus that Coach Holtman is taking these opportunities to reach out to you guys and bring you back to the program? Yeah, it's, it's honestly been a very, very smooth transition. You know, he's kind of picked up where Coach Mata left off, you know, with what Coach Mata built here, um, especially in the offseason with all the former players. It really started when, when I was in school, you know, having guys like Terrence Dials and J.J. Sullinger come back and George Reese and Scooney. Those guys, I mean, I remember when we were in school and they were coming back playing open gym with, gym with us. So for us to uh, to kind of pass that torch and be here for the, the current guys, um, it's been great. Like I said, Coach Holman's uh, you know, been given the circumstance, I think, uh, been open arms for us, uh, allowing us to come in whenever we want uh, when the shot's been open with the whole pandemic. But, um, you know, we've... We've loved it. We've loved every second of it, and we get along with all the coaches and, and the players, so it's been good. Is it weird thinking about Coach Mata being at IU as an associate AD? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for him. I think uh, you know, I think he's in a, in a good good spot right now. Um, you know, he's he's back, kind of back in the game, I guess you could say. So, uh, you know, I'm excited for him. Um, we'll see what happens with you know, whether he coaches again. But you know, for him, the position that he's in, it, it allows him to be around the game. More and, and I know he's uh, you know he's doing well. His family's doing well. His girls are in school, so he's uh, he's doing great. Seems like even before you guys had there, you had a lot of guards, a lot of different guys that can do some different things. Kind of give us a breakdown of, of what these guys can do. You know, we've seen them all at different points, but maybe not on this team. No, for sure. You know, the guys that we've added um, definitely bring a little more youth uh, than what we have right now. So um, you know, a guy like Shannon, who you know, an unbelievable player. And, to have him here has been great. Um, Keyshawn, same thing. Guy that played with the with the Big X for a couple of years, and, and now we're we're really excited to have him with us. He works out with all of us in the off season. So and even having Costa back and Julian and Gibbs is back and Lenzel is back. So you know it's it's we've got a really good mix of the guys that have kind of been on the team for a couple of years, and then you know some new younger guys that can bring a lot of energy and help us in a lot of different ways. How much do you look forward to this every year of just having this opportunity to, you know, get back out here with some of your former teammates and show what you can do? Oh, it's awesome. I think, uh, you know, obviously it's fun to get out and compete um, for, for all of us to to play on the same team in a, in a competitive official setting is nice because obviously we play against each other every summer. Um, we're here in the offseason working out, playing against each other. But to kind of play in an official game setting and compete against other guys that, you know, Either we played against in college or played against overseas. It's uh, it's just an awesome event. I mean, it's I mean, you guys know watching. It's just it's fun. It's fun to uh, to watch. I know we're watching the games and the regions that are going on right now. So, I mean, obviously it's better when you win. Uh, we've kind of been on every end of the spectrum there with uh, you know making it to the final four our first year and then losing in the first round last year to winning it two years ago. So. But that's the beauty of it, you know. It's kind of like the, the NCAA tournament. You just never know. You have one bad game, and that could be it. But you can get hot for six games, and you could win. So it's it's fun. We're, we're really excited to uh, to play in the Cabelli Center and have fans, though. I know it's uh, it'll be good to kind of 
have that sense of normalcy. I know overseas, um, in a lot of countries, they started having fans towards the end of the season, so it would be good to do that now. I saw you uh, tweeted a couple weeks ago about hitting a hole in one. You've been working on your golf game a lot, too. Oh, man. <laughs> to be honest, all right, to be honest, my first shot went in the water. I told a lot of people I hit a hole in one, but I also said, no, let me tell the story. So my first shot, I hit it in the water. I was with three of my buddies, and they were like, you can drop. There's a dropper. And I was like, no, I'll just tee off again. I made it. Like, I'm not a professional golfer, so to me, that's a hole in one. On the scorecard, yeah, it was the three, but that's a hole in one in my book. I don't know, you guys can take with it what you want, but uh, it was honestly like, it was so cool because I'm terrible at golf, so I'm really not good. It was the luckiest shot I've ever made in any sporting activity of my life, so hole in one. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate so it. So bigger shot than any shot you've made on the, on the court. Easily, like, easily. Like, I don't, it's a, come on, like, to tee it, I, I tell people this, like, oh, it's a par, and I'm like, listen, have you ever teed it up from the tee box and hit it in the hole on the tee from the tee box? And they're like, no, I'm like, okay, it's settled, hole one. Would that be like making a full course shot after the buzzer? <laughs> kind of, yeah. You still did it. It didn't count, but you still did it. That's great. That's what I should tell people. Like, you know, like, you, know you throw one, you throw one up full court after the buzzer. Doesn't count, but you still made it. Yeah, I still made it. It was, it was incredible. It was a kind of crazy feeling because I just like hit it, par three, 148. Had my nine iron. I hit it, and for me to like have good flight, I'm like, oh yeah, like I hit it well because I'm not good. And then it like bounced on the green. And I was like, oh, I'm on the green. This is incredible. And then it like kept rolling, and we just saw the ball disappear, and we all kind of went crazy. So it was, uh, yeah, it's exciting. I want to golf more now, <laughs> but uh, I'm still not very good. So don't let everyone tell you that it was a par three. I just trying to clarify that. It was, it was the greatest par three of my life. <laughs> John, what do you think about the uh, the NIL stuff, and how much could you have used that back in your day? No, it's cool. I'm excited for the guys now. I mean, gosh. College basketball has just changed so much in is it 10 years. When did, when did I graduate? 2000. Yeah, 10, wow, 10 years ago, 2011. Yeah, um, I mean, just with like the transfer portal and, you know, even just like the conferences, how, you know, like the Big East was different when I was in school than ACC. Like, there's just so many different teams and different conferences now. Um, but no, it's, you know, I'm excited for the guys that they can. Uh, obviously capitalize on their name image, image likeness. Um, it would have been cool if, if we could do that in college, but we were fine when we were here, you know, to, to come to Ohio State, get your school paid for has been, has been great, but we're really happy for the guys now. I hope, you know, every every student athlete can capitalize on that and take advantage of that. What, what do you say to the detractors that think it's gonna ruin a locker room or alumni are gonna start buying players? <sighs> I don't know. It's I'm I'm so far removed. Um, Would that hurt? Up? Could it hurt? Could it hurt a locker room? I, I don't think so. I mean, every locker room I've been in, it's we're family. It goes beyond that, you know. It's not about who does this, who makes this much money, who gets drafted here. We're just happy for each other. So I think uh, you know I'm not buying that. If you have a solid foundation and, and your guys get along no matter what, then I don't think it'll it'll ruin any locker rooms. I don't. Who would your dream endorsement deal have been with back in your collegiate days? Subway. <laughs> <laughs> I ate Subway like every day in college. That was, that was my spot. Subway, this, this uh, sushi spot uh, right on High Street, Diaspora, that was my place. So I'm a food guy, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I, I mean, I couldn't even think about that. Like. To, to see where we're at now and how much has changed from when I was in school, it's, it's, it's obviously growth in the right direction. I think, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to, to see college athletes, student athletes, um, be able to capitalize on you know, their name. And, um, like I said, there's always, there's no perfect solution. There's always going to be someone who is for it, someone who's against it. So, uh, you know, this is where we're at, and I think, uh, I think it's good for the student athletes. I think, um, you know, coaches and players, and everyone will try and capitalize, and capitalize on it as much as they can. Try this one on for size. John Dealer for three C body shots. That would have worked out pretty well. There you go. There you go. I've given I would have, man, I would have done anything. You know, it was, uh, like I said, though, man, we, we were fine. You know, we, we had our meal swipes, staying in the dorms, going to the marketplace. We were good. Uh, no, it was, it was fun. You know, it obviously would have changed. 
would have been interesting to see like what opportunities potentially you know, all of us could have had. But you know, hopefully we paved the way in a sense. Um, but we're excited for the guys, like I said, for, for them to be able to uh, use their platform. Hopefully um, everyone uses it for good and, and capitalizes on it as much as they can.